Today we're going to be installing seat covers in a Dodge Scat Pack. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Scott and today John and I are going to be showing you how to install seat covers on a Dodge Scat Pack from CustomInterior.com. Now I'm going to put all of that information right here on the screen so when you see these on the car you'll know exactly where to get them. So uh, sit back and relax and we're going to show you how it's put on. All right, everybody, we're going to start by putting the seat covers on the back, but first I want to get some room here, so we're going to take this bottom seat out, and it's pretty simple. All you have to do is reach under here and lift up, and there's two little clips that'll just pop right up. That one right there, and that one right there, and you can pull this right out of the way. And then I guess we should take these out, too. Just push that little clip in, pop it right out. Very simple. Another one on this side. Push that little clip in, pull it out. Well, if I can pull it out, don't want to come out. There it is. All right, to get this third one right here, we're going to push this clip in right here and pull. And that's all three of them. Now we can get the seat out of the way. All right, to get this side piece off right here, there's a bracket right here with a 10 millimeter bolt. We're going to take that out right there. Got that out. And there's one clip at the top. It's even with this seam right here. You just push it in. I'll show it to you. I had already loosened it, but you take it and just push it straight now. Like that. And that pops this whole piece off. All right. And then that one, again, push that out. Pop this out. We'll have these out of the way. That'll give us a little bit more room to work with the main seats. And we have this cover it's for this bigger size right here. Set it up here. Now, you'll notice that the, the center headrest has a place for the hole, so we'll have to pop that off. And that's simple. You just push in right here on this button, and then on the inside as well, and pull it straight up. Just like that. See if I ain't getting it to go. All right, guys, we went to take this headrest off, and you squeeze this side right here and this side at the same time to pull this up, but for some reason, this side would not come up. We had to put a little bit in here and squeeze it with some channel locks really hard to get it to release, but that's how it should work. So if you're having issues with it coming up, just find something to squeeze it really hard. We noticed when we got it out, it had a little burr right here on the, on the notch where it locks. So that might be another problem we had, but just squeeze it hard and you, you should pop it straight out. Okay, everybody, we got this larger back section, which has a center piece right here that unzips. You can see the zipper right here if you want to use this later on. So you would have to unzip the seat cover on both sides to use this. But in the meantime, you just slip this underneath the seat belt, go like that. Pop it right down on here. If I find my release, lean this forward and just start hooking it all up. You got side Velcro pieces here. Don't forget to put your little release latch in the slot here. Pull it through. We'll have to readjust these as we put it on, but for now we'll get them somewhat centered here. said we'll readjust but for now we're just gonna set them these two holes should line up with your headrest holes you should see right there's your two holes they line up just fine now we're gonna set this back in place for a minute now we got this in place here we're gonna stick the headrest on if you remember right we had this lined up for these two holes should slot right in, just like that. Let's set, set it down like that. Just 
just like that. Now we'll get to these in a little bit with it. once the main seat is in, they go down in between the two seats as such. Just like that. We'll get to that. Now we'll do this seat right here. Alright, now we're over here on the other side. Same thing we're gonna do here. We'll just pick this up. We're gonna set this right over the top and line up the seats. And don't forget to pull your your seat belt release through the hole here. You can't see it from that side, but there's a hole over here. Pull your release through. Don't forget that. You won't be able to pull your seat down. Now we're going to set this back down. I'm going to Velcro everything back. Now don't forget, we're going to readjust these, I'm sure. But for now, we'll get them secured in place. That looks close. So we'll get it up here. And then we'll marry these two pieces with the zipper. So guys, we, when you go to put these two together, one of the two things that you need to do is either put the front, uh, the left and the right together already with that zipper where it's not in the way of this, where this headrest is, headrest is not in the way. Um, and then you just have it as one piece and then you can always unzip it later. Um, but if you don't do that then fold it down without the headrest on before you you know before you put the headrest back on this way you can zip it up okay otherwise you're not going to have enough space right here to be working with it you're not going to have to worry about it once it's there because you're never going to zip past the headrest so you'll you'll be fine but now at this point um you know you can go ahead and you can put the seat back up like that and then now you've got your zipper that's going to go all the way down like that and then you can go ahead and put your headrest in. So, there we go. There we go, a little bit. All right, we got our seat cover here for the back seat, bottom. I'm gonna flip it over here. I'm gonna take the back seat right here, throw it right up here on top. Start strapping it down. Just pull the sides up right here. You got a strap that comes up from the front. We're gonna loop it through here. Come up here to the top, snap her in place. Just like that. By doing it through here, this keeps the clip out of the way when you put the seat back in. Okay, we'll go to the other side and do the same thing. That way we'll have it nice and even. Get it good and stretched here. Pull this out. Same thing, go through there, come up to the top, grab our clip, put it together. Keeps it out of the way. Also pulls the sides in tight. So we're good there. Now we have two more clips right here. And these are the long ones that are in the front. On this one side, it'll go down in the grooves. You can feel that right there. And pull her up here. Just like that. Same thing again here. Pull her up into the groove. Pull her up here. Snap her in the plate. There we go. Now, one here, nice and tight. And when we put this in, we put these clips down in between each seat, and that'll stretch them. Be a nice tight fit. This looks like it needs a little adjusting, so just pull it, pull it around some. Looks good to me. All right, let's put her in. All right, we got to hook up all of our clips. Green to green. one right here can you see it clips right there together have one more on this side a gray one over here got in that one's clipped no just gotta watch all of our seat belts make sure we get them in line slide her back down in here yep. it's always the fun part holding everything where you can get to it now, squish it down in there. It's got to go back to line up the little slots for your clip it in. It felt like it went in there. Yep, it did. Alright, guys, we got these locked in. 
clips. Make sure you have these out and give yourself some room. The extra thick material makes it hard for the clips to go back in place. But they're in place now and we'll, we'll get to put these in now. All right guys, here I've got this bolsters uh, piece already on here, but I'm gonna take it off real quick and show you what it looks like, how to do it. It's pretty simple. Just, just like that. That's just that simple. Put it on there. Pull it around. Just like that. Simple enough. Looks that good. Remember when we put this on, you got one bracket to hold it here and one here. You get a close up. You can see where you push the tool down in there to squeeze that. That'll release it. So I'm going to put these in and then we'll finish up the back seat. This just sits down in here. Line up that bolt hole right there. Right there. Slot our little piece up here. Can't see it. There it is, right there. Okay, that's in. Hear that clip. Now we gotta put our bolts in right here. Got that started. Drive it on in. Just like that. Now we'll go do the other side. Already got this bolster on, no, no point in doing it twice for you, you can see. Pretty simple. Drive this down. Get her down there. You can see the clip in there. Just like that. Just lock it in. Line up our bracket here. Should always hand start screw that way you don't cross thread it. There you go, just like that. Now, flip these up. And finish pushing these down inside. And these will just fit just like they are flat once you just shove them up under there. that one back and that one you just push them in there and make sure they're flat behind the seat you'll have to move your, move your fingers around a little bit to get it to work but you'll you'll understand as soon as you try one actually a very nifty design on how it works mm -hmm. there you go this one out just so I can unzip this so I can get to my console if you don't want to take it out you can lock that one in but it'll stay out of the way then we'll get this one So all he's doing, guys, he's just pushing those tabs straight in and then flipping them sideways. Yeah, just sideways, and it locks itself into the into the seat. It's a very nifty design, but it works really well. There you go, just like that. Got our seat belts sticking on here. I got one left here. Get my finger in there. seat belt there's that seat belt there you go just like that i'm just gonna pick that up right there and put this on just like that and we'll pull our velcro through the bottom tie her together of course you can't really see it what i'm doing now but it's pretty straightforward just like that if you want to push it down push your button 
Looks good. All right, guys, we've got our front seat here. We're gonna put on, this slides over the seat, so we're gonna have to take the headrest off to start with. We're gonna do that first. Got two clips in here, just like the back. Pull it up, push them both in, pull it up. I think I'm hitting the top of the seat. Yep, I have to lay the seat back down some to get this out. There. All right, guys, well, we got the headrest off. We're going to put this on, but make sure you get the one with the zipper that goes outboard because you try to put it on the inboard side, the console will fight you really hard. So that's the way you want to do it. And you're going to want to run the seat all the way forward and also the back up straight up and down as much as you can. You just throw it on there and pull it down over. Pretty simple. This inboard side here. Side's fighting me a little bit. I'm gonna have to go around. It's the console that's tight, that's the problem. There we go. She's on there now. All right. I'll come back around there. All right. That's good there. I'm gonna zip her up here. Try to pull all your slack out as much as possible so you don't break the zipper. It definitely snug, so that's good. It'll make a nice tight fit. put her seat back seat headrest back on so we're gonna have to set the seat back down and back some otherwise there's not enough room clearance wise for the head that should be enough just like that all right do the headrest now our headrest right here and just velcro just like that same thing just throw it over the top snug it down don't want to get in your way reach through the back here to help there we go now we'll do our velcro just like that if you want it all the way down just push your button Get my finger to it. There you go. Now we'll do these clips after we get the main seat down. I'm gonna raise that all the way up so I can get my fingers underneath it. That should be good enough, we'll see. This time we got clips that's gonna go under and clip to the frame itself, as well as snaps that go underneath the seat and hook to themselves, okay? All right, guys, we're in the back of the car and I just lost my clip. See if I can grab it again. It's hard when you can't see. I got it here. Yeah, you got my clip down here from the side, and then the other side, we're just gonna pull them together and clip them just like that. 
can see it and then the front we have a front one and a back one here we're just going to stretch them together but i gotta reach way up there to grab it pardon me but there it is okay we're just going to clip them together just like that hope you can see it and do the same with this side all right there 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 you go okay all right last thing we gotta do is tuck our clips in right here that's the easy part just gonna push them back and turn them try and do two at once I'm multi talented there it is all right stretch this all together i think it looks good myself yeah no that looks really really good now guys, one thing to keep in mind um, is that once these are out in the sun and get heated up, the any these don't happen to have any wrinkles, but sometimes they're folded up inside the seat, inside the box. So if you get a set of these that have got some wrinkles in it, don't worry about it. Just uh, go ahead and put them on, and, um, and the, once you get them out in the sun, the wrinkles will go away. So you don't have to worry about it. Now, we've already showed you how to do the back, and we've showed you how to do the the uh, passenger side. We're not gonna uh, we're not gonna film the the uh, uh, putting it on on the driver's side because it's the exact same. So um, so that's that's how you do it. So there we go. So now you know exactly how to put them on. So guys, that's how you install the seat covers from CustomInteriors.com on a Dodge Scat Pack. I want to thank John today for fil or letting me film him do all the work and me being able to have the easy job today. Um, he worked his butt off making sure that, uh, that we got some good footage here and uh, he was bent in all nine different directions from Sunday trying to be able to get this so you guys can see it. So hopefully this video did help you guys. So when it comes time that you want to put a set of these covers in your car, you'll know exactly how to do it. So when you do, I want you to reach out to custominterior.com and or extremeonlinestore.com and they will be able to get you set up. So I'm going to go ahead and put that information right here on the screen so that you'll know exactly where to go. And guys, I want to thank you guys all for watching. If you guys have not already subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and hit that like button and hit that bell so you'll be alerted of our next uploads. Also, I want to tell you really quick, we are having a car show. It's a Corvette and Camaro car show uh, up in Reno, Nevada in August and so I'm gonna put that information up on our website so I'll go ahead and put that up there it's uh, uh, it's www.corvettechannel.com be sure and check that out go to the event page you'll be able to see it it's at the Grand Sierra Hotel and uh, it's an indoor car show and it's a uh, it's and we're also going to be having a, uh, a poker run there that day too so we're actually on Friday and they'll be doing the car show on Saturday so if you guys are interested, please check that out. Be sure and get registered as soon as possible. The places are filling up and uh, you, know, you don't want to miss out. So anyway, uh, guys, again, thank you for watching and you guys have a great night.